everybody welcome back to the wooden spoon youtube channel today we're gonna do a mario golf tutorial here on how to do some of the shots that you run into so let's go ahead and get started let's start out with the basics so first you want to time based on what uh, your uh, distance is you want to kind of do the math and click that for the first press of A on the N64. Um, the second press will be your accuracy. So you want to get close to that dark gray bar on the accuracy. Just like this. So if you go on the left side of the dark gray bar like that, you should go right of where you're aiming. And if you go on the right side, you will go left of where you're aiming. Okay, so let's say we hit it in the rough. So if we were going to hit a rough shot, you can see on the bottom right there, it says 80 to 90. I usually go worst case scenario. What that means is uh, this shot will be somewhere between 80% and 90% of the power that you're looking for. And that's how much the rough is taken off of it. Um, so basically, you gotta be able to do a little bit of math in your head here. But if I want to hit it 129 yards, like this shot says, uh, I also add the up or down. So it says up two yards. We're looking at 131. And now we want to go 80%. Uh, so let's add, if we're at 131, just say 13 is 10%. Let's add 26 yards to that. So we go 157. The wind's a little on our face too, so 161 should be okay. And then we hit the shot. Nice shot. So as you can see, that's the uh, way to uh, get the yardage down. If you're not in a perfect situation where it says 98 to 100, if you're in the rough or something like that, you're looking to do the math in your head. Uh, so it might take you a little longer if, if you're not as good with math or numbers, uh, but that's how you do it. Okay, so let's say we have a bunker shot here. It's going to be similar to the rough shot. Uh, all we're doing here is looking at how much that bunker shot is affecting us here. So this is if you were rolling to the bunker, usually it says 70 to 85. Again, I always play worst case scenario. Um, so if you do 70%, we're looking at a 19 yard shot. Add the one for the increase in level there. So we're at 20, 70%, um, we're gonna add two is 10%. We're gonna add six yards to it, so 26 yards. This club goes 60 on the approach here. So 26 yards is gonna be right around half of that. So um, let's go with half of the 60 yards. So again, uh, I like to go a little bit harder than normal, uh, just in case uh, the, the ball doesn't take a good bounce or something. Um, but you can kind of figure out which one you like the best, but uh, that is how you do the math there on the bunker shot. So this is a bunker shot where we have uh, landed in the bunker, and usually if you land in the bunker, it usually plugs. You'll see either 50, 70, or sometimes 40, 60 on the side. So either way, you're looking at about half of uh, the club that you're trying to hit. Um, so in this case, we want to go 20 yards, uh, 21 with the increase there. So we want to double that in this situation. We want to try to hit about 42 yards. So if we're hitting this approach wedge here at 60, 42 is about three quarters of that. So we want to hit right there at the third little dot. Nice on. And that'll get you with a good approach shot out of the plugged bunker. So 
So let's say you are on a downhill slope. In this situation, the ball is going to come out a lot lower than it normally would, and therefore probably go a little shorter because the ball is going to hit the ground quicker. Um, so in this situation, what you're going to want to do is, in the N64, it's a Z trigger, but you want to get the ball spin there and pull down a little bit on the joystick to hit the ball just a little bit underneath to get the trajectory up. So you can do it like this, and then go ahead and hit. And that will get you closer back to what the original distance probably should have been. Also, it will keep you from line driving it into a hill that's right in front of you. So let's say you have a shot here uh, with the wind behind you. Um, so in most cases, you need to hit a club down and uh, let the wind take it. But this is a shot here where you need to be exactly right. Um, because we can see we're short and we're wrong about the distance we're looking at reteeing. So what you can do a lot of times is if you don't feel like dealing with the wind, uh, still play the wind a little bit, uh, depending on what direction it is, but get the spin on the ball and go up with the joystick, put more top spin on the ball here, and You'll still, like I said, feel a little effect from the wind, but not as much. So let's just go one under full here. Nice on. And you can see you can still hit a good shot. It doesn't have to be just, um, you know, leave mercy up to the wind. So this is a shot you see a lot in Shy Guy Desert, which is the waste area. Uh, waste area says 50 to 80%. It's not going to be 50, so don't go and double your shot here. Uh, it's usually closer to, I would say, maybe, uh, maybe add, maybe add 50 uh, or or 40 probably. So it's probably going to be about 60%. So, I would say in this shot it's 127, we're going to go 195, 60% um, would be 72 yards, which is right about 195. And you're looking at a decent putt into the hole. So let's say we get a friendly wind here and we want to take advantage of it. Um, so this is Metal Mario, so he's got a little draw. So, and normally if you have a straight person, you're going to take it and go straight down with the ball here. But since Metal Mario has a draw, we're going to go down and to the left. So you're going to take the line of the uh, white. Uh, line that's coming off the ball right there you're going to do that rather than follow the target that's showing down there so this thing ignore that use the line that you can see coming off the ball as your starting point and then take the wind from there so we're going to go just left of the pin here take this go just a little bit left and down And we'll go full power. And by doing that, you can hit a, that wasn't even a nice shot, but you can hit a better shot. It's going to be much, much longer than your normal club would go. So here we're looking at a shot where we have uh, hit the ball and it rolled off the green onto the edge of the rough here. 
and I can usually tell whether or not I can do this because the rough will say 80 to 90. If it says more than that, you're probably in some thicker rough, you're not gonna wanna do this. But it's hard to tell how far in the rough you are, so if you're not sure about it, I wouldn't take the chance. But, especially if you're playing speed golf or something like that and you're trying to get out quickly, or if you're just not very good at chipping, uh, this is a, a shot you can do. So you can get your putter out and just putt from the rough. So on this shot, we're looking at 65 feet. I'm not gonna worry much about the line, I'm just talking about the distance here. Um, but I do see it breaks a little right. So 65 feet, what I usually do is I add 10 feet to the shot uh, to adjust for the rough. So it's up a little bit, 65 feet. So we're gonna go right there just past the third uh, little square. So right about 75 feet. And you can see there, uh, I went 62 feet, so uh, if I'd uh, gone just past the third square like I wanted to, I might have made it, but uh, you can see there that the distance is correct. It's add 10 feet to your shot, uh, whatever you were originally gonna do without the rough, add 10 feet for the rough, and you can still pull it off, and that's a much better shot than I would do chipping, so I prefer it if it is possible. So this is another uh, shot that we can run into, and that is you just come short of the green. You're in the fairway, but still just off the green. You don't really feel like chipping because you're not that great of a chipper. You can always putt. Uh, depending on how far away from the green, it's gonna affect this shot, so this is not gonna be a one fits all, but uh, this shot, we're probably a good five to 10 yards short of the green here, so we got quite a ways of fairway to roll through. Um, so on this type of shot, I'm gonna add 20 feet to the shot. Uh, if you were closer, you might just add 10 feet, uh, similar to a rough putt. Um, so we'll, we'll go about, we'll add 20 feet to the shot, it's 100 feet, we wanna go 120, so we need to go about two bars past the halfway point. So you see there, that makes it end up be just about perfect speed wise. Uh, to get in there. It's much better than a chip I could possibly do unless I get lucky um, and Sometimes you're gonna make them you, you still read them the same way and if you read it correctly You can still make the putt So when I'm putting uh, shorter putts, this is probably about a 15 footer 13 footer um, what I do here is first you want to look at the pixelation of the line. So you can see the line there is dropping down to the right, which means there's some slight right break here. But also what I'd like to do is look at it from the behind. So on the N64, I press the uh, right bumper. And there you don't really see much pixelation at all. Um, so that's why you can kind of see that it's not going to be much break at all. So. I'm just gonna move it, I'm not gonna give the hole up, just gonna move it slightly left. We got 13 feet minus one is 12 feet. Like I said, I usually go a little bit harder, so I'm gonna play it like 15. Nice. And there you go. Right into the center of the cup. So when you have a longer putt, uh, what you're gonna wanna do, I normally go a little bit, if you're doing the math in your head with the putter, I normally go a little bit harder than what the math would say. Uh, it seems to be just what the game does. Um, so on a 40 foot putt, if you do the math here, we're gonna, you would think, okay, it's somewhere right in the middle between the first and second little square. I think it's closer to the second square, so that's what we'll do. So you can see there, oh, yes. um, if you hit it just a little bit harder than what the math would be, you got a good shot at making it. So this is a medium putt here, but you can see where the lines are heavily pixelated, which means we're going to have a lot of break here. Um, so we need to give the hole up on the break. And the distance is 15 feet. I go a little bit more than uh, what it says. So I'm going to go just about halfway 
uh, between that second and third square. And boom, right into the center of the cup. Oh no. So you can see there, um, with the heavy pixelation, means that you're going to have a lot more break. Alright guys, well that uh, concludes the basic shots I wanted to cover on how to play Mario Golf. Uh, there's probably some more advanced shots you can think of once you get used to it, but I just wanted to cover what you can do uh, just plain Jane uh, on this game. So appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the channel and we'll keep trying to find more tutorials for you to help you out in the future. Thanks guys.